Hello friends, welcome to our channel. My name is Balram Prasad and I am working with Microsoft as a senior software engineer. And today we are going to talk about data wrangling and data wrangling feature into Azure Data Factory. How we can use Power Query Massup Editor into Azure Data Factory and how we can leverage the Power Query inside that Azure Data Factory. So wrangling in Azure Data Factory enables us to use our familiar tools right we were using this kind of power query online editors into a lot of different tools such as power bi excel analysis service dataverse and other places uh, this is widely used tools and technology and that technology now they have supported into azure data factory so the people who knows this technology can do easily that transformation of data uh, using this query into Azure Data Factory itself. So that is the benefit which we have. And agenda of this demo will be that I will create Azure Data Factory. I will create a Power Query into ADF. Then we will use and see that how Massup Editor looks like into Azure Data Factory. And then we will uh, run the pipeline with the help of Power Query activity. And we will monitor uh, that how it looks like when it is running. So that is the agenda of this, this demo. Uh, let's quickly start with this demo. So right now I am in my subscription where I will do this demo and I have one resource group created. I will create two more resources. One will be the data factory and one will be a storage where we will keep input and output. So let's go ahead and quickly create this data factory. Rest it will be same. Uh, let it be whatever default reason it has selected. Now let's go and create the storage account. I will go with basic setting. I will enable hierarchical namespace so that it will behave like data lake. The storage account has been created. Let's go to that storage account. So we will create one container on data and inside data, let's create two folder one folder we can say that input and one let's say that output and input let's upload we have one data set called movies let's go ahead and see that data set that has some movie related information movie title gender year rating and other details are there. And if you have seen our previous video where we have used this data set for data flow demo, same thing we are going to do here. So let's upload this file. Now we have our data in ready, input and output, all the folder is created. So let's go back to our resource group. And now we have ADF, let's launch the studio. Now we are into our ADF. Now let's go ahead and we have few options like pipeline, power query, data flow and data set. We have seen data flow and pipeline multiple times. Let's go into power query. And if you see, we can go in from here also. So right now this is power query. Let's see that data demo. And now because we have not created any data set, uh, we can go and create a new data set. And data set which we will have into Azure Data Lake Storage Gen 2, and the data is into delimited text. So let's go ahead and say that this is movie related data. Let's create a link service because we do not have right now link service. So let's keep the same name. I'm going to use with uh, authentication type is account key. We can go for a uh, service principle and manage the identity for security purpose. We can go for manually also enable all the settings. I am going and selecting by this Azure subscription. So let me select all these details. Let's build it connection. So now this linked service will be created. Now I'm going to have uh, this select as the where is that our input path is there. So input is into data input folder and movie.csv. And we have seen that our data contents first was the header. So I will go ahead and create that. And then I will create okay. So 
now it will come here so now we will see that inside this power editor mashup editor is coming and if you notice that one this is similar to if you have worked into power bi and other things it will look like similar if you have not worked let me quickly open power bi uh, desktop which i have uh, so let me name, open that power bi desktop and so if you see uh, this is where we will connect all this and it will see that similar to that uh, details will come so let's um, uh, see that how it looks like a little bit more and if we click on the get another data source then let's go and we have data into our this format so we will go into movie and select the movie data set it will bring all that and it will connect all the details and it will try to bring everything so we can see that and now we can go into load and transform mode for power bi so this is what editor look like right uh, this is what we can see into that window itself and uh, similar this is in power bi desktop we can do a lot of different things here and same thing we can do here less lot uh, there are some function if you see that uh, currently not our power query m function are supported in data wrangling now suppose we want to do some activity or do transformation here then we can go ahead and do that one suppose if uh, we want to filter based on some year right remove few of this and few of this we can select so that one uh, we want to have okay let's go for this one 1920 to 1925 we want to have so let's filter that one rest it will be if you see that here filter row uh, is there so if we double click that one this is that uh, uh, filtering is happen on that one so that is one kind of transformation we can have right or we can have uh, we do not want to see any columns right let's suppose we want uh, to hide this column so remove column we can do and uh, that column will be removed so you see that filtering and the, this uh, applied step is coming and that's how we can see that left side what is the source and then this user query will be going into sync section where we will connect that sync so we can do multiple things we can go ahead and suppose we want to have average of or let's have a group by of uh, year wise let's group by of year wise on this one so we can apply the group by and count rows we can do uh, that's where also it is going to apply the now it applied that uh, group by and other things we can do we can if we want to remove any steps we can click it here and we can remove that right through uh, here if it is there if you want to do that some other things like let's do let's do transformation if you want to do lower case another case suppose here if you want to do in this column let's do that uh, some transformation about lower case then it is one of the transformation we can do and now you can see that all this after that lower case is coming if the, you have a split in the comedy and drama there are multiple with the test this one so we can do split also let's go ahead and transform that uh, wise and we can say that split columns by delimiter what is our delimiter let's put that one not the comma we have we have pipe right so custom we can go and we can go pipe one and that's how we can do the split also so now we can see that split is also done one column we have converted into three so that is the few things we can do and <clears throat> we can do different things also here if you want to pull, put filter put some value change the value with null with something different we all can do over here and then we can go into advanced editor and see that this is the query m query looks like what is it is generated so it says that from source take this one as a selected row then remove columns then transform this columns and then split that column this is what it is generating by this ui and that is what we can do <coughs> any error occurred in working table dot or we cannot get the expression into a specified value query okay let's see what it says let me remove this one so 
So all is there. Allow now. Like if this this is that what we want to do. So first we can convert this column to this might be right now into if you see that lot of things are disabled. So let's convert this number as a decimal number. And then we see that this is the changed data type. And now if we go in, if we want to do any thing more on the transformation side, then we can do that. So now if we want to do some aesthetics based on average and other things, we can apply that one also based on that columns. The transformation node support is required decimal access to the road of data node, which cannot be scaled out. Okay, some some scaling issue is there. So let's remove this one calculated one. And then let's group by the rating. And here we can put some average, average column rating, right? Let's put some new value. Group by we can do year or maybe genre. Let's put the genre based on genre or year wise. Let's put anything. So this is the rating average, whatever rating average we can go and do that one. So this is the transformation. We can go ahead and do that. And once we are done on that, then we can go and use this uh, activity into our pipeline. So let's go and see. And if you, if you want to see the diagram view also, you can see the diagram, how it is happening. We have just seen that query view also. We can have that uh, query script and other things here. All the details is going to come. We can see the schema view also. All the details are going to come. We can play with that. And then once we are done with that, we can go into our pipeline. So we can go into our pipeline and let's create one pipeline. And let's say that demo. And then we can go and we can find that power query and power query activity we can drag and drop and now here we can select that in which power query we want to run and this is what we have created data wrangling demo and which kind of compute we are going to run so uh, there are general purpose memory optimized which runtime we are one to one so right now default is there what is the core count and other things we want to use so let me default one because we do not have a heavy use and load and sync what is the sync so sync we have not right now identified so let's go ahead and output sync and that output will be there for gen 2 and we are going to have into this one so Let's have movie output and linked services. We will have that first to as a header. Let's put, but it will be splitting into multiple files. And let's give that one. And so this is what it looks like. Let me publish that. Let's run this one or let me run with for data flow debug session we want to go or we can directly go and add trigger and trigger now let's go ahead and do that one only let's see that one so let's go to manage section a uh, monitor section and then we can see that okay this activity is being triggered and let's go inside that one it will acquire compute it will take some time to acquiring the compute in details so if we go into see that one this is right now into queue so if we go inside these details, it is acquiring compute right now. So it will take some time to acquire that machines and in, inside whatever specification which we have given and then it will run. So now cluster start time is there. Now if we go and see that it is in progress and right now it is not displaying. So let's see, it's a bit, bit more. And if we go inside this one also, Yeah, so this is what uh, right now it is going to do that it is taking the source right it is it is filtering whatever select is there whatever derived column we did we have asserted 
again derived column so all this whatever we did the activity as a step that is going to do and then it is outputting so all it is going to do and it is going to sync that into once again whatever sync we have given that place it is going to sync so let's go back and uh, let's see a little bit more details all this is success how many columns are there how many columns updated dropped it and other other things happening happening if you see two transformation columns and other things are coming and let's go a little bit more into our storage and if we go into storage where we given the output let's see inside data and output folder so this is output which uh, stored from that uh, activity if we go into part files we can see the first will be kind of a header and then uh, we can see some of that had the data also so this is what data wrangling activity looks like inside adf and number of transformation we did nine and if we go inside that activity one more time and if you see that one uh, so these are the step view uh, these are the few things we did and that means there are nine numbers of nine transformation it did for that purpose so this is what i wanted to share with you all in this demo i hope you know the concept of dr wrangling into adf now thank you